I don't like the way you eat. I don't like the way you eat either because it goes straight to your breast. <laughs> you just breast heavy. <laughs> <laughs> she saved it with the breast heavy. At first, I was like, I'm not laughing at man. She said, you breast heavy. That was, like, that was breast heavy. <laughs> Oh, Patrick, I have a message for you. Uh, it says, tell my bae, I said, happy new year. So there you go. Happy new this? year. Is that your, that's your mom? <laughs> well, now this just got awkward. Uh, <laughs> I don't hear you talk about anybody else. <laughs> it, it's one, one of my home girls who like, she goes, y'all go together in her mind. So like oh. you're her boyfriend in her Better mind. Get in so mind. Go to tell you that. There's a lot of people that go together with Pat. Yes, there's a tell lot of yes. people. Tell her I said happy yes. new year. Hey, Ooh. <laughs> tell her to stay far away. <laughs> I bust the windows out your car. <laughs> hey, <laughs> real quick, what are the chances of me uh Getting the gang, getting the gang on the on this on this croc wave, huh? Anybody? Are they? I like are they I've, I've have worn them. They're really comfortable. Right? Thank at you, this, Kev. At this stage of my life, I don't too much care what people think. Comfort is way higher on the totem pole of like hey. cool. But you're a sneakerhead, Kev. So you would give up some sneakers to be a crockhead? Nah, sneakers. Crocs are literally coming back because they're collabing with all these brands and all these art designers who are like, I can make something not cool, cool again. And they, they, they're, they're, they're hot again. They're still ugly. There's no way around it. Very are always gonna be they're, ugly. They're very ugly. And Pat tried to get on the way before Christmas, and I was like, Fuck you! I'm not doing that. Hey man, it's about the pins. It's about Dude, the customization. What? I said Pat tried to get me on the whole Croc wave before Christmas. He was like, Hey man. I mean, I made this purchase. You should do this. I was like, man, fuck you. I'm not wearing no Crocs. You were already on the Croc pot wave, so why don't you just <laughs> get the shoes? <laughs> oh, oh good. Good set up. <laughs> yeah, I got you on that. That was good. <laughs> I, I got miss nothing. you guys. I got no tags, no follow-ups. Every, 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 every time Kev's nipples get hard, he try to cover his breasts. We know the <laughs> thing over there. You noticed. <laughs> We know the thing banging. <laughs> Where do people come up with them things banging? That's a hilarious. <laughs> that's so much. That thing it's banging. Those things so banging. <laughs> My favorite has been, hey, them titties tittying. Oh, titties. <laughs> titties be tittying like a motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? What? <laughs> you, ever see somebody walk, you see somebody walking fast, like aggressive, you be like, Oh, them titties titty. Them <laughs> oh my God. I know exactly what you're talking about. That's the crazy part. The boobs, <laughs> the boobs that feel like they're like water on top. Yeah. They have like the waterbed, the waterbed boobs that are just like always moving with stairs. The titty, 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 <laughs> like yeah. that's, that's, that's man talk. You be like, excuse me, man, I'm titty. I can't titty. talk right now. I'm titty. Women, <laughs> women don't never say, man, them balls was balling. <laughs> no. I think they said that thing thinging. <laughs> I don't think the balls get enough attention, so we don't really talk about balls. We just talk about the the twig. We don't talk about the berries. Okay, that's not fair. It's true. You guys never really be talking about like a dude who has ugly or nice balls. That's not. I mean, if they're like abnormally terrible, like if they're like super long, like. <laughs> imagine, imagining a group of women just sipping tea like you know his balls that was it was weird yeah. Yeah, like, we've, i mean yes balls. there's been conversations like that i'm sure ty has had them too where you just be like his balls was really long it's weird right? is that like, y'all like that <laughs> long you, balls? Balls was long in a slavery honey you should have seen i don't know if it's necessarily a like or it, like if it's in conjunction if it, it was if the peen's bad then Yes, you're the the ball. The long balls will get talked about, but I feel like if, if it's a good experience, I'd be like, yeah. The but it's like long, but usually it's right. the longer the balls, the older the man. So true. Mm. Really? Yeah, mm. You in about ten years, I'm gonna be tucking my balls in my socks. Make sure they don't move around. <laughs> <laughs> well, I heard that. I heard that sometimes guys sit yeah. on them when they get really what? long. When they sit down, it's. They I don't have on. long balls, but I sit on my balls sometimes. It's not fun. <laughs> uh, so you, I, had to, I had to get a sockyotomy just for that 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 very reason right there. A what? Yeah. Sockyotomy. It's when they. they That's what it total. is called. Yeah, it's called a sockyotomy. Sockyotomy. Let me tell you something to hear. 
I learned a lot about you in 2020 T here. And I learned that your ability to, to say untrue things <laughs> with a great face, you're really good at that, friend. You can be a lie detector test. I, I believe that with my whole heart. To, to hear uh, you, you are really. Look it up. Osaki, no, we... it's actually called a scrotoplasty. I just looked it up. A scrotoplasty. He that said a psychiatomy, that and that's weird. what it is. Look or at like his face. I didn't He's even serious. I didn't even know how to spell it, but Google didn't give me any suggestions. They just gave me a blank page. I've never seen a blank Google page ever. I just searched yeah, ball sack it. surgery. It's a scrotoplasty. What do you? What does it do? It it lessens it's the. Length a, of your it health? only takes about thirty to sixty minutes. You need a week to recover. You take your it, scrotum it, it removes, may feel sore for a couple a of what is excess it? Skin. It removes excess yeah. skin. Yeah. Yep. So it, it, if you have long balls, it kind of like takes the middle out. So it's it's like it's, yeah, it's like a tummy tuck for your balls. It's like you a face like in the middle and like some yeah, big there. dining room tables. So it'll, it'll take place. like it'll take it from the bottom of the scrotum <laughs> and basically like fold it back. So they make an incision on the back, like right here, and make another incision like right here, and they basically pull the skin Shut back. Up, man. You I'm, don't I'm, know. I'm trying you to tell this scoriotomy. I believe you to hear. Don't believe him because if he didn't Don't lie listen. this much, we wouldn't be doing this. No. They should have called it a testy tuck. I feel like that was a, <laughs> <the best. laughs> They called it well, that, Matt. It, it, could would, be, it would catch on. It would it blow could, up. It could be the BBL. <laughs> it could be the Brazilian ball lift. <laughs> so That's better. Oh, yeah. All of the marketing, Have man. them things banging. Them things will be sitting up high. <laughs> Getting surgery because your balls are too long is a hilarious purchase. Like, it has to be, like, uncomfortably well, I mean, long. Yeah, but, like, women women get their meat curtains fixed, you know? So it's the same thing. Really? I haven't heard yeah, that in a while. Labi labiaplasty. Yeah, but, the, but yeah, you get this, get this. Unless it causes a problem, like unless your doctor can verify it causes a problem, then it's looked at as cosmetic surgery and your insurance will try to get out of mm -hmm. it. For my psychiatrist, mm -hmm. I had to prove that like I was in pain every time I sat down. Like on you roller did, coasters. Jake, you didn't get one. No, you didn't. You do not get on no roller coasters. You That's choke do. down. <laughs> Which one? Which one? Screaming eagle. The one that don't have no straps to go around your waist. Hey, to hear them freckles freckling. <laughs> Why are y'all like this? <laughs> to hear me sitting on his cheese balls. <laughs> hey, but low key, do y'all remember cheese balls? They what? were oh. higher in the little they, they, uh, what is it? Metal oh, can. Oh, blue, and a blue can. And yes, blue the blue can, can with like oh. the silver on the inside. Yes. Yeah, get them joints. What was that made by planters? Wasn't that planters? I feel like only low key uh small companies did the cheese balls. I don't remember like Lay's or I planters. Thought, no. did. I, I think like planters, planters had a version, but it was another company. I think that was we like used to buy ours from Woolworth, and I remember we never got it from any other what? store except for Woolworth. What was what, what store? What Woolworth? Woolworth isn't that like the the civil rights yeah. store they used to do sit-ins? Civil rights store? Wool yes. <laughs> Woolworths. They would do sit-ins there. You're that old to hear? You was a at the sit-ins? My mom used to go to Woolworths. And I used to go That's with my mom. Civil rights store. And you used to go with her in 1953. We get it. <laughs> what? Oh, Woolworths? I've never heard of it. I've only heard it in that? history books. What? How do you spell that? Woolworth? Woolworth? W -O -O <laughs> L W O R T H S Woolworth. Sound it out the way to hear said it. Then you find it. <laughs> I almost typed in Woolworks. There's <laughs> a there's an L and a T. Oh, I have missed you guys. <laughs> I know. I, 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 I didn't actually, I didn't actually miss you guys as much. I didn't miss you guys as much as I thought. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever, so here you messed up. Hey, y'all remember when Tahir uh, fell by his pool? <laughs> oh, that was real? He fell like a toddler. <laughs> I, thought that was, I thought that was fake. Oh, no. We were doing a physical challenge, and it was like a race thing. It was a time circuit, and I got out and slipped when I fell. Time oh. circuit. Because that looked like that hurt. I didn't think that was you. I just thought that it hurt. Was... We nah, all, that it was, was three of us. 
It was three of us, and we all got bruised up. Like, my knee was busted, and my toe was cut. Mm. My homie that went first. Who was y'all trying to prove who could go fastest? We were we were bored, Megan. We had started drinking early. Time to circuit. Yeah. The hair looked like a warthog escaping from prison. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. Escaping from prison. <laughs> you but here, you know, at our age, you can't just, you got to warm your body up. You can't just go from mm-hmm. talking about that something. That is true. Be, be I, like, sure, I surely did not stretch beforehand either. And when I you tell can't you the next that, day, Kev, mm-hmm. it's, just, it's like starting the car before you let it warm up and you just try to go uphill. <laughs> hey, body <laughs> like, oh, hey, what up, man? We need more we doing? Doing and stuff. Is, I we still got an ankle injury from when I sprained my ankle in, uh, what is it, November. I still can't even do everything yet. This is terrible. <laughs> yeah, man. that's the thing, too, man. When you get hurt, it be taking super long to recover. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. I, that's I, why I old people don't want to fight. I got yeah, go. man. Well, I can't race this stuff. Yeah. I hurt my shoulder jumping into a pool raft. And it's like, that's the most relaxing thing that I was getting ready to do. And my shoulder (laughs) still hurts (laughs) from pool relaxation. Like that's the most random place to time to enter you. The newest episode of the Real Comedian Social Media, I mean, Social Challenge. No, what is the Real Comedian's Challenge show? The, The episode that's out right now, Keon was trying to go to the hole and I tried to block him he just kept going forward and my arm was hurt for three days after that. Keon's really and good. I didn't know Keon's, he was that good at basketball. He's really good and he's strong. He doesn't look like it, but Keon is freakishly strong and like- No, he does look strong. He you just strong. don't want him to look strong because he's more fit want him to look strong. strong. <laughs> this, is, this is true. I did not want him to look strong. I did not believe it in my <laughs> he mind. He looks strong. <laughs> What's crazy about that, that episode that though is like, if you if they photoshopped you out of the footage, it would have looked like like the same. It looked like he was just driving straight to the like he didn't he didn't really like <laughs> he didn't go around you. It was like no, he got the ball, just just he just went like it was Yo, like you it was, know how embarrassing your athletic accomplishments are. They were like, hey, if they just digitally remove you, it looked like he was just playing by himself. Listen, I still I crossing. Feel- I feel no type of way. I know what I'm bringing to the stage when it comes to basketball. Absolutely nothing. So I, I tell you what the funniest part of that challenge is to hear, to hear how to play Keon to three, to hear never even got to dribble the ball, much less shoot it. The ball never left his hands and hit the ground. Keon stole it one time and to here never touched the ball again. Here, did you did you ever play like pickup basketball? Like, oh, I'm gonna go hit, you know, just go to a regular I played, like in my neighborhood, there was a basketball who behind my grandmother's house. And they would play 21 and bucket and stuff like that. Of course, you know, I I went out there, but niggas knew I was trash. They they let me hang out because I was funny. You know what I mean? Like. I would roast niggas that would lose. They'd be like, yo, you come up here. I'm like, man, you don't want to see me up there. And I get up there, they was like, yo, this nigga was right. It's true. He was <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, he was, I thought he was talking trash. He really meant they this, don't nigga, wanna... this nigga is trash. So, you know. But anyway, that's that's how what... your mama came in. <laughs> I came in with a whole, she came back on with a whole different energy. Ty came in with the Will Smith ears, like she ain't got time for this. <laughs> My ears look big. No, they don't, girl. They yeah, just because because I've been told they're really small. You they're know, it's probably big. the camera. It's probably the camera. It no, adds not the not big, not even a little bit, girl. It's probably not. the cameras. It's just this is a uh, this is a perfect place for us to go ahead and jump right into this first topic right after this. What up, guys? Happy New Year from my sponsor, Manscaped. Manscaped is the best in men's below-the-waist grooming, offering precision-engineered tools for you and your family jewels. And here it is, ladies and gentlemen. I got some dope deals for you. Always, as always with Manscaped, because they know how they know how we like it. First off, listen, I don't know if you made any rituals, but let me tell you what's not a style. Hairy balls. Never will be in style, never has been in style. Well, maybe not for a long time. I said, I don't know what they had going on in the colonial days because I wasn't there. I'm sure they was in some some weird stuff. What I want to let you know is that it doesn't matter what you got going on. It doesn't matter if you're leaving the house 
Grooming should never be sacrificed. It should never be sacrificed. And you don't have to go without it with the Perfect Package 3.0, okay? Because the, the Perfect Package comes equipped with things like the Lawnmower 3.0. This is a waterproof, skin-safe trimmer that will reduce nicks to your two best friends. That's your balls, okay? All right? You shave your balls, get everything looking tight and right down there, and you help your tree stand a little bit taller. You know what I'm talking about? <laughs> you, give it a, you give it a little bit of ball. You give it a little bit of ball. You'll also find the Crop Preserver. It's an anti-chafing ball deodorant and moisturizer. Come on. Who don't want fresh, soft balls? Hmm? Fresh, soft balls? We all want that. Don't play around and test the testes. Bless the testes, all right? Keep them feeling and smelling good. Speaking of smelling good, have you heard of Manscaped's new refined cologne? Oh, baby. With the same signature scent that's in all Manscaped's formulas, this cologne is a perfect complement to the collection. Think of it as your wingman for the night to keep you fresh and ready for anything. It's ready for anything. Like, I don't know what you heard, but we bring it sexy back in 2021. And right now, you could get 20% off plus free shipping with the code SQUAD. That's S-Q-U-A-D-D -D at manscaped.com. Your balls will thank you. All right? So get 20% off and free shipping with the code SQUAD, S-Q-U-A-D-D -D, at manscaped.com. That's 20% off and free shipping at manscaped.com, you use the code SQUAD, S-Q-U-A-D-D. -D. Happy New Year's. Bless your new balls. First topic of the day, we have, would you rather have telekinesis versus have telepathy? <laughs> you nice. <laughs> Barely <laughs> scraped through that. I ain't going to hold y'all at all. What is telekinesis? <laughs> For the dumb dumbs, including myself, because I just looked at uh, Is that what Eleven had in Stranger Things? Yes, yep. you can move things oh, with I your mind. Things. Yes. Oh, okay. Telekinesis, okay. you can move stuff. Telepathy, you can read people's minds. Okay, so well, Professor not really, X. Not so much as read their minds, but you can communicate. You can communicate. Oh, or right. you can, uh, I think reading, mind reading falls under that, but telepathy is more yeah. like, it's a, like they yeah. can't necessarily tell you something, but you could like force yeah. something on them, like, hey, yeah. punch yourself in the face. And then no, that's mind control. That's telep, that's part of telepathy. Look it up. I just oh, did. Is it? It is. It falls under the, um, the umbrella. Yeah. yeah. Well, I would go with telekinesis because. I already have the power of telepathy because I'm a mother and you know <laughs> <That's funny. laughs> talking to your homegirls like have you ever like Meg have you ever had a whole conversation with your homegirl and y'all never said a word yes Meg ain't got no homegirls yes shut up you're my homegirl <laughs> <laughs> the jab back uh, is game has been crazy hey Meg's <laughs> jab her blog I'm, tired of That's what, I'm tired. Y'all are my Mayweather. origin story. I'm sick of y'all. <laughs> it's Mayweather level, bro. She is. Yeah, it rolled right off the shoulder and it hit you real quick. Yeah, yeah man. You tough. You real tough. <laughs> I didn't. I didn't know. It's all in the shoulders. It's By the way, the Meg, a whole nother year passed. Still engaged, are we? <laughs> First of all, 2020 doesn't count for anything. Not for birthdays. We all are still the same age we was since 2019. Okay. Oh, okay. We nothing oh, it about that count. though. My son, my son's soccer skills, they are frozen in time. That whole year, <laughs> he didn't have no tournaments, no practice. That's like a whole season of development just gone. Damn. Hey, they, just, and they keep trying to get the soccer started again, but somebody gets sick, somebody almost be oh. sick, so then they cancel it for a week or two. I was just like, bro, it's just for this. Don't do listen, I'm gonna take right. time. I was talking to Pat earlier today. I'm gonna take this time. I'm gonna get in the best shape of my life, bro. I'm 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 so committed right now. The diet and with working out. I wait. Wait till y'all see me in public. Wait till you see me in public. Wait, so why, you, why so now? You like, what happened this whole 365 days that just passed? You know you got to start at the beginning of the year, Meg. Everybody knows that. <laughs> why okay, well, you start at the, the beginning of the year. year? It's just, it's or just, the it's just of the week. Week. this is for me. It's like um. I don't know. I guess like last year was the 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 shock and awe of this actually potentially being a reality, right? And now at this point, it's like, well, this is the reality, right? So the reality is I probably won't be going back to a nine to five. We won't be going back into the office as much. I have nothing but time and opportunity to do this. So all I'm lacking is the discipline. 
and I had to tell myself that I'm strong enough to do this discipline wise. So now I'm going to do it. Now I'm going to lose 35. Yes. So I'm yes. Yeah, I'm with you. Let me tell y'all something. You did it before boy, too. I did. I did with the trainer. This time it's just going to be me and uh, the Nike app and then good eating. If I lose this 35, 40 pounds, y'all going to have to deal with a different type of nigga. Okay. <laughs> I'm just going to, I'm just going to open up the door right now. You're going to deal with it. I'm no shirt on. I'm going to have the best jackets, but not a man shirt in the class. You're going to have to Not do a man. Not I a don't... man. Yeah, I'm going to be a different type of nigga, oh, Pat. You... 40 pounds? I might fuck around and put my locks back. I might grow the locks back, nigga, and give you a run for your money. Don't nobody want to see them freckles on your stomach. <laughs> you a <lie>? You a <laughs> I got a lot. Like, no. You look like, look like one big silver I got a lot of Mildreds. I got a lot of Deidres all in my inbox. I got a lot of uh, Samantha's. Mildred? <laughs> hey, you got sesame seeded chest. Ain't nobody want to see that. Just leave that behind your shirt, please. To hear. <laughs> uh, shut up, Meg. <laughs> I'm with you, too. I'm, I already started last month. I'm on this. Actually, I'm using the Noom. Using Noom, and I done paid so much money. So at this point, I got to do it. Yo, I, um, yeah, yeah, I, I was thinking about getting Noom, too, because I remember Kev used to promote Noom. Noom. Did you ever try Kev? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, oh, oh. Of course. Do you not like, I did. Do you not like I it? I never promote something I didn't try to hear. <laughs> I believe in all my products. <laughs> mm-hmm. So what, what was it about then, Kev? Noom is about a healthy lifestyle and balancing. It's not about beating yourself up if you miss a workout or two. It's about making the adjustments to fit your workout into your schedule. How do they right. adjust? You pull that wait, up. Wait, wait, wait. Not, that? We have had the Noom ad like 50 billion times. That was impressive. <laughs> that was it. I was going to say, now, now tell me without the copy what it is. <laughs> Yo, I literally, we have had Noom. Noom did all three of our podcasts. So I, I was either saying it or listening to Melissa or Angel say it. So I definitely know Noom. Yeah. Noom, work, Beach Body, Beach Body on Demand, Beach Body. You don't have to have all day to work out. You can work out a full workout in the same time it takes you to drive and park at the gym with brand new titles like <laughs> P90X, Insanity, Hit Cardio, and all more. You can work out in as little as 10 minutes. Start your year off right with Video On Demand and Beach Body. On demand right now. That's crazy. <laughs> mm. I'm and not they gave you that ad and they saw what your body looked like and they was like, still come on. <laughs> <laughs> That's how you know you made it. They didn't even care that you had some titties titty in. They were like, we just gonna let you promote it. <laughs> it's a beach. You got a beach ball, not beach body. <laughs> <laughs> they just came up. And they was like, "Yeah, you want to do this ad?" He was like, "Yeah, absolutely." They were like, "Shut up, beach. Listen, <laughs> just read the copy. Enough for the shucking and jiving." Low key, actually, I'm not gonna say that because I might still do it. <laughs> this is an idea I've had for a long time, but I might still do it, so I'm not gonna say it. Oh, that is definitely going to be the soundbite for the. Actually, I'll like, say it. Know. I'll say it. No, no, I won't. Don't say it. Keep it for yourself. Keep it for yeah, your ass. Be Just text it. Text it to us, Kev. Yeah, oh, text okay. it. That's a good idea. Yeah, text um, it. You know what's crazy? I, w- I remember having a conversation with a parent last year about if you had to choose between a superpower between flying and reading somebody's mind, which one she would choose. And she chose reading somebody's mind. And I always thought she was crazy for that. And I was like, I fly everywhere, right? Um, but the it's so crazy working with people the rest of the year and not being able to see people's facial features and and what they're doing under that mask made me want to be able to read people's mind because like i don't know if i need to walk around like like this or if i need to be like hey how you doing because you can't see what's going on under here so i was just like <laughs> be really helpful to be able to read somebody's mind and know if i need to turn Why up and just do like, this version huh why would you do the walk around like this version? Like, when, when would that help? Well, I mean, it's just like, you like, when he's, right. no, when he's mating with his fellow primates. <laughs> <laughs> That's <is> funny. <laughs> I was talking about the let them know he's a sesame seed boss. 
I was like, the energy that you keep, but man, that was really funny too. Marking territory though. Right. Kev, <laughs> Kev, Kev, when is your uh wedding anniversary? <laughs> I'm, hey man. I'm, I'm the same day here. My my 16th wedding anniversary uh, is June, June 26th. When is oh, your okay. wedding anniversary? Mine is mine is it's in March. It's crazy. We did the same day as St. Patty's Day. It was by accident and happenstance, but so now we got two reasons to celebrate. Hey Mac, when it, um, you don't. Don't even, don't, you can't do that because there's three people on here who are unmarried. No, no, they're no. Also but they, they're also unengaged. They're also not engaged. They're it doesn't engaged. matter. It doesn't matter. There's technique because if you look at a sheet, uh, you're up. filling up the census. We're you the same. Shacking up, okay? You live <laughs> beside that doesn't man matter. and y'all ain't said no thousand in front of Jesus. You're shacking when up. I to, when I went to college, I, <laughs> I had never heard any other term than, than shacking up. <laughs> and uh, my psychology professor was like, well, cohabitation. I was like, cohabitation. what that is? What is it? Cohabitation, cohabitation. Is, the, is the term. You never heard that, Pat? <laughs> <sighs> you don't be doing nothing. He didn't take psychology with me. It doesn't <laughs> I don't, matter. I don't mind not knowing about that. <laughs> <laughs> Pat is like a prime candidate for cohabitation. Hey, he's Pat. already made it very clear that he doesn't want to cohabitate. He said if he ever stayed with another chick, they would have two careers, remember? So why would he know That's that? That's smart. That's smart. I'm blaming <laughs> Nah. <laughs> what were we talking about? <laughs> Telepathy. <laughs> Tele I would rather have tele telepathy, yes, where you can read people's minds or you can communicate all that stuff. Cause I feel like people be lying about like how they really feel or what they really think. Mm -hmm. but, and so like, just to look at them and then you can read their mind. But do you care? Like- I don't want to hear, I, 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 I'd I rather be I able do. to- move Yeah, move stuff. That seems like way more useful. People think, yes. like, I feel like there's so many superpowers that people think they want, like flying. Flying would be the worst. First of all, you have to get over a crazy sense of heights. And you'd probably like fly twice before the government comes and and figure you know like takes you away. <laughs> so it's like I never they, even thought about that. Practically, you got a whole you got a whole bunch of issues. <laughs> yeah, it. You, it, it's horrifying. <laughs> that's, it, that was, that's what I was gonna say. Like the whole government thing, and then also when you if you have telekinesis, I mean uh, telepathy, you're making someone else like break the law. You're like, hey, give me all the money out of the vault. They go do it. You won't get in trouble for taking you like, oh no, you sure? Yeah, oh, okay. If you want me to have it, all the footage is of you being re receiving end of it. I've never broke the law once, right? If they catch you flying, they want to. Do y'all remember the story when they said they had caught a guy with a jetpack? He was like, mm -hmm. I think mm -hmm. like 2000 oh, yeah. in the air and all by LAX. Oh, you you better believe what how you do this? He'll Yo, never see his family see again. They'll never see his family again. So I'll give me that now. I'll take the telepathy any day. Did you see that? You, did you you make that you whatever you want. I'm sorry. Go ahead, Kev. Did y'all see that first season of Jessica Jones where the villain had telepathy? He was. I was low key like, yo, this dude is actually one of the most dangerous villains ever. Yes, because nobody because knows who did it. They don't know that you're responsible for it. And bruh. the same way you can move stuff, Pat, you over here telling like, oh, I can move, like, let's say I want to get the remote off of the, the mantle or whatever. And you just have telekinesis. Well, guess what telepathy is? I'm going to make my kids, I'm going to tell them in their head, go mm. get me that remote and give me a bag of chips and give me some water and bring it here. And I didn't open my mouth. You say like, crazy. propose to me, love me. <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't know if I don't know if communicating with your mind is the same as making somebody do something with your mind. Yeah, so like telepathy like is the transmission of information, you know, without using the other senses. So without me using my words or whatever. So I can transmit those thoughts but it doesn't necessarily mean i can make you do those that's things thinking. but that's why I, the mind control you. falls under it yeah because it's, it's like thought. professor x right but professor x has mind control right yeah he can but control that's a part of telepathy that's under the telepathy yeah it falls under the umbrella yeah doesn't mind control Wait, wait, I thought telepathy fell under mind control, but not the other way around. No, mind control falls under telepathy. 
Because it's a form of communicating just through your brain. Yeah, but if I tell you jump off of a bridge, you could have that thought and not act on it. You could right. be like, well, that was a weird yeah. thought. <laughs> That's a part of telepathy. That's what I'm saying. Why would that make you do it though? No, no, no. That, that's what I'm saying. It's a part of it. It's a, like a, a more, what's the word? Like a subcategory. A more, maybe, maybe, it's, yeah. maybe, maybe it's levels. Like with the stronger mm -hmm. that you get with your telepathy, the, the stronger or more ability you have to control people's actions and their thoughts. So it's like, it's like you can do just inception when you put a thought on somebody's head or you can actually control them. Like, like, right. like, oh boy, from uh, Jessica Jones. When he told, old, he told the chick die by a thousand cuts. Man, he was tripping on that. What is man. it? What, what is this show called? Jessica, Jessica Jones. Jones. It's one of the more Where's that at? They on Netflix. It's on Netflix. It was like, it hey, we don't have access to the real good Marvel people. Who's left? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> but it was so good. It was so much better than um Iron Fist. I had such high hopes for Iron Fist. Did You're you? talking about just the the softest. I mean, the softest. Marvel I saw the actor. Here. No, no. Oh, I do. My goodness, he gonna have the career like old boy from uh, Passion of Christ. Ain't nobody gonna want to hire him after that. Uh -huh. He actually was in something recently. Who? Who the Iron Fist? Or Passion of Christ? No, oh, you talking about Jim Caviezel? Yeah, yeah. You mean what? Jesus? Yeah. What commercial? The guy who played Jesus had trouble finding work after that? Yeah, absolutely. It's like you played Jesus, fam. What else is there? Nah, nobody but, wants, yeah, they, they, that movie why? was, I don't know. They didn't want to touch him. That's so random. Cause I mean, like the, the same thing happened to Luke Skywalker. So what's the, uh, why, why, why do y'all think that happens? I don't know. Yeah. Luke, Luke Skywalker though, at least he was still getting dope ass residuals Wait, off that. And Bio, but still. <laughs> he was getting dope ass residuals. With Jesus, they just was like, all right, nigga, Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder why that happened. Man. If you if you add mind control, Ooh. I'm doing telepathy. Well, I let didn't me know back that. up. Let me let me understand something. Telekinesis, do we have like we could we could stop an airplane? Like how strong is it? Is it like I, you could stop? Mind. Yeah. It's, it's, it's all on your level though. Like, I think like yeah. you don't, nobody starts off being that strong. It would be like something that you would have right. to build up. So if you were, but I mean, be real about it. How, how, how long do you think you would be able to keep that on under wraps before somebody knows that that's you that's, that's moving stuff with your mind and stuff like that? Cause the moment you, you do it, the time. moment you do it at a bar and somebody got their phone out and they see you like, like moving glasses or whatever. That's it. Bro, that's that's all it takes. But how can they see that if you just look at it? Because telekinesis is moving with your mind. You don't have to use your hands. Yeah, but if it's well, coming usually head, it's coming like, to you. Like, you, you. If I had this across the room and then I bring it over to me, ain't nobody outside made that go in my hand. Well, why would you do that in front of people? Who gonna do that? That's dumb. Man, you could also you, here, so you could also just make it go past you into somebody else, and then they wouldn't know. Yeah, yeah, but you still gonna pick it up. But Meg, niggas show pictures of their bank account. They show pictures of the receipt for the why? Because they love the stunt. Niggas gonna need. Is that? But that's not you thing? though. You might talk about need. us. We're it's not gonna personally. do that. This is how cautious black people are. We just got we just got these superhero powers, and we're only thinking about ways to get caught. Like, how how, <laughs> how is the police gonna catch us <laughs> with these new powers? <laughs> Who no one talked about saving nobody. <laughs> or you, ain't my place. We, about saving saving we said if, if you could fly, the government gonna track you. Like, oh no, they probably would. Yeah, I'm only <laughs> gonna, I'm only gonna be a hero in marginalized uh, communities. Like, I ain't able. Like, yo, the, the Joker's running oh, wild in, <laughs> in Metropolis and Gotham. I'm like, I ain't got nothing to do with that nigga. Like, if he go to East St. Louis, I'll let your boy. I'll be right there. <laughs> I mean, if you think about it, that's how that's the kind the kind of way that Batman is on. If there's some shit happening outside, God don't give a fuck. Yeah, he only went to Metropolis because he had a business there. He ain't give a shit about Metropolis for real. But there's no superheroes that just have mind control or telekinesis that are good. So Professor just, X. What do you mean? Professor yeah, Professor X. X. Professor X was like a curator. He never <laughs> showed up when somebody was was uh like terrorizing the town. He sent people. 
Here's my issue with Professor X. That's an actual cure. You have an you have an amazing power where you can read minds, you can you can communicate using telepathy, but you can't make you can't talk to your brain and your spine. You can't communicate with them motherfuckers and make your legs move like you you can. That's do how all he got the. Things. That's you how he got the powers though, right? It was like. Uh, but you can't make your legs move shut up i hate what? you <laughs> what do you go read your legs mind what, what makes me bad <laughs> you can't you that, that, that part pat but what makes him mad he created it. cerebral right he created this whole room where he can talk to anybody but you can't like one little piece, you can't complete one little piece that connect your spine to make your legs work again. Like yeah. you, 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 can't, you can't do that. His legs legs the, are Black Hawk. the Black Hawk can go out of space. It's a plane that can go out of space, and you can't. You still can't walk. You need to fire a beast. He's, beast is bullshit. His legs are dead. What did you want? <laughs> nigga, give him bionic oh. legs. You still have the option of talking to a dead nigga if you want. They're not gonna say nothing back. <laughs> I'm just saying he was talking to two legs that were dead. He just he has mind control. He don't have uh, limb regeneration. But he has telepathy, which means that he can communicate with his brain to make the nerves that make the legs and the spine and all of that shit move. Listen. The point I'm trying to make is, is that Professor X, like that's some bullshit, fam. Like you could do all of this stuff, <laughs> you, and you mean all, to you? That's your weakness. You can't he's make the your leader of the X Men. He he's Wait, hanging out with a nigga who has claws coming out from his hands. Well, he Why are you drawing lines? It's like, all how ridiculous. Do you, how you can <laughs> legs? I don't it's like the X Men. <laughs> <laughs> Ain't no logic. All right, well, let's put it to a vote. Kevin, get off your phone. Stop ordering pork rinds. <laughs> Order Just for what? Pork rinds. Uh, pork rinds are that's good. What you order. I like pork rinds. <laughs> Can't be eating them, but I'm gonna go. Okay, I'm gonna uh, go telekinesis. I'm going with telepathy. 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 Kev, what you going telepathy. with? All day. Telepathy. Why y'all want a power y'all already got? What you say, Kev? Kevin, what are you it. doing? I said. Telepathy. We right. did not hear you. That's he told you telepathically. <laughs> Go back to ordering your bras and come back later when you pressed submit. <laughs> telepathy has it on that one. We gonna move on to this next chat, uh, next topic right after this. What up guys, it's Tia Moore. And just because it's 2021 does not mean that people are not still feeling the effects of 2020, okay? If there's something interfering with your happiness or preventing you from achieving your goals, I suggest, strongly suggest you look into reaching out to the good people over at BetterHelp, okay? Because you can start communicating in under 48 hours with a professional therapist, all right? And they will assess your needs to best match you with your own licensed professional therapist. And it's not a crisis line for those that are wondering. This is not a self-help line. It is professional counseling done securely online. Listen, a lot of times when you're trying to find a therapist in your city, first of all, depending on your insurance, you could be waiting for a couple months or a couple weeks, then someone may not be available, right? And when you first meet your therapist, I'm going to be honest with you guys. I've been to three different therapists. It wasn't to my third therapist that I really felt the connection. And with that connection, I feel comfortable literally opening up to that person, all right? Um, which is, is is really big because BetterHelp is committed to facilitating great therapeutic matches. So they make it easy and free to change counselors if needed, all right? And it's more affordable than traditional off offline counseling and financial aid is available. So, BetterHelp obviously wants you to start living a better life, okay, uh, which is why they offer the service worldwide. So it doesn't matter where you are in the world, you can log into your account anytime and send a message to your counselor, and you'll get a timely and thoughtful response. Plus, you can schedule weekly video or phone sessions. And you don't ever have to sit in an uncomfortable waiting room as with traditional therapy, all right? There are a broad range of expertise available, which may not be locally available in many areas. Again, you might have to wait for a therapist to become available. Uh, if you're going for a specific type of therapy, like you don't have to do that with BetterHelp because they have so many options. So I encourage you guys right now, right now, go to betterhelp.com slash squad. All right, that's betterhelp, B-E-T-T-E-R-H-E-L-P.com slash squad, S-Q-U-A-D-D. -D. All my listeners right now, you guys will get 10% 
off your first month if you go to BetterHelp dot com slash squad. That's S Q U A D D. Listen, you owe it to yourself to be happy. Check out the good people over at BetterHelp. Next topic of the day: Would you rather win a million dollars secretly or two million dollars publicly? How public? Like like on the news and stuff? Yeah, news. Yeah, when news they have that check and that. they show your name. Yeah. And they say, Patrick, they say your real last name of uh, West Adams, <laughs> the area where you you're from. Is that right? I think in the bottom, on, yeah, the lower thirds, they put like where you're from. <laughs> um, I'm I'm still doing the two mil publicly. I feel like <laughs> we're, 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 I mean, we're all entertainers. The, we're, the goal is no one's when when Tyler Perry bought uh Atlanta it's not like he was able to keep it under wraps like <laughs> he wasn't able to keep that secret so i feel like a lot of a lot of money is going to be made publicly so just give me yeah. the 2 mil <laughs> gotcha. i think it depends for me on how successful i am already if this is my first million give me the million i don't i don't want nobody to know i got that first million out the gate if i'm already you know a couple businesses up movies up and this is just like an extra two million on top of the ten I got. I'll take the public. But if this is my first one, no, nah, I, I listen. I still tell people right now I'm staying with somebody else. I don't want nobody to think something. <laughs> I'm bro. You stay with your wife and your kids. They pay mm -hmm. your bills. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'll do the two million publicly because um, I'm gonna do what I'm gonna do, whether you know or not. I'm still not going to answer your phone calls. I'm still not talking to you. Them I don't care about your life. Stand your door down for the PS5. You hear me? You, you how, how they, how? they don't know where I'm going to be at. Shit. I'm be honest with you. Let me get $2,000. I'm out this bitch. So. <laughs> <laughs> I'd rather take the two mil and just invest it if people want to ask me for money. That's not because here's the thing you ain't going to ask me for money for too many times because here's, here's my thing. For family and friends, first time is free. Okay, you ask me for something, I got you. After that, I put you on a plan, and you got to sign a contract. You don't want that? Don't ask me for no money. It's an app, everybody man. in your family. You gonna you gonna look out for everybody? Them? I don't care. If my mama asked me. She gonna get put on a plan too. Nah, I definitely <laughs> got a cousin that is plan. plan. Put them on a plan, a payback plan. Oh, or how we gonna plan. make you? You know, I believe teaching people to fish. How we gonna teach you to fish instead of asking uh, me for the money? What is You're it? being there. I'm not looking out for all my family. I'm going to be honest with you. <laughs> I, the thing I thought about is you take 2 million after taxes, that's like 1.4. But yep. people think you have two still. Actually, probably less than that. Because I think at, at that clip, it's like 35%. Maybe even closer to... Yeah, it's, it's definitely at least 30%. I learned that lesson at Bank of America. My first, my first bonus was five grand. And I didn't realize they tax bonuses that high at like 30%. I was like, this ain't $4,000. Yeah. I already spent it in my mind. Yeah. Telepathy. Bank so, of America was brutal with them bonuses. Oh, my God. Man, I was like, y'all ain't even give it to me good yet. Y'all taxing higher than, than the paycheck tax. Uh, <laughs> he said, y'all ain't even give it to me good yet. <laughs> but I'm taking the, I'll probably take the $2 million, man, because I, listen, It'd be e the, the one million is probably seven hundred thousand six fifty to seven six fifty seven hundred thousand two million is one point four, but people think you got two, but they're about to get zero. <laughs> right. So what, that's what I'm saying. What difference does it make if you have one point four? I can deal with. I probably be able to deal with people knowing I got money better than I get less, just so I don't have to deal with that. So basically, what, what, your regular life right now. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> your normal everyday life. This is what we talking about. <laughs> Kevin, you got the monies. We know that, okay? Nah, man. You know what I'm saying? Listen, I can tell when people get money by how they react to bills, right? Like, if the bill comes to the table and it's like five hundred dollars, and people are like, "Damn, uh, what did y'all eat?" Right? You're like, "Oh, okay, I get it. I, I get. It. I would. That's how I would be, right?" We would be on tour and, and the bill would come and the bill was like, like when we was in Hawaii, that, that bill was just like, it just said, it said USC tuition. And I already knew what the fuck that meant, okay? It literally just, 
It literally just said USC tuition. And, and Kev was like, I got it. Don't worry about it. I was like, you got you got it? <laughs> you got it. I was like, listen, let, listen, this this is how big the bill, this is how I knew it was gonna be a problem. We opened up the me and Josh, we were sitting next to each other. We opened up the uh the menu and we looked at the prices. And I I, I text Kev, I said, Hey, I'm finna act like I'm gonna take a phone call and it's an emergency <laughs> and I gotta leave. That's how expensive it was. That, and I'm not joking at all. Kev will verify. Give me that. an entree. Give me what I said. Give me an entree. Huh? Give me an entree. To hear and Josh, they didn't even, they had a table for us. To hear and Josh didn't even sit at the table. They sat at the bar so they what? could leave. <laughs> so they could walk out. Because the menu was tripping. But it, it, it listen. What was it? What was like, like an entree? One steak. It was steak, like. It was a steakhouse. A steakhouse. It was one steak. Like the ribeye, I think was one hundred and fifty, one hundred and sixty-five dollars. One steak. Yeah, there was nothing under. There was no entree. Un, even even the chicken breast was like seventy bucks. Sheesh! And oh, that, why is already an expensive, a more expensive place because they got to import everything? Uh, but this was like one of their nicest restaurants. There was a cheesecake factory downstairs, and Tone was like, "We should just do cheesecake factory, man. They got the free bread. We should just do that." And I was like, nah, man, the line's too long. How was it, though? How was it worth it? It was amazing. It was utterly fantastic. It better be for $175 for a steak. I wrote, it, I, I wrote it off, though. So that's why I wasn't really tripping. It's like, I'm going to either give this money to Uncle Sam or I'm going to write it off. You know what I'm saying? Because it was it, catering. Listen, I mean, it really it, was catering because it was me our meal. Josh to the, me and Josh shared a steak because I didn't feel comfortable having another man pay that much money for my meal and that's not fucking. Gosh, Tia. <laughs> you wow. Were wow. So that's your limit, huh? Wow. <laughs> you you went from zero to 60 in, in half a second. Kev, <laughs> Kev paid the bill. He was like, all right, so what are we doing? <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck we doing? That nigga Kev came over. You know that gift when old boy is like. <laughs> 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 yeah, hey, you know the meme that like <laughs> it's like somebody putting their hair up, hair up, and then their yeah. knee pads. <laughs> I was to here. No. Oh, I was like, I'm not, not bro. I'm not comfortable, bro. I'm not. Ty over here getting in bro. trouble. Ty, are you okay? Blink if you okay, Ty. She getting in oh, trouble by blinking. her mama. She blinking, but she, you know, she just got. It's about to be like, I'ma fight you, mom. Oh, boy. if I get two K, I'm out. Somebody's mom and somebody's daughter. <laughs> <laughs> That's hilarious. <laughs> you got cast for two roles in the same movie. <laughs> you okay, Tom? You gonna make it? You about to fight nobody, are you? Directed by Tyler Perry. <laughs> uh, <laughs> <laughs> Can you imagine like you know, like somebody's mom being a director and giving you a direction like yeah I want you to do it like this you do it just like that and they'd be like I know what I just said but I don't want it that no more like the whole movie that oh nigga I quit I had that. <laughs> I quit that's funny oh man. <laughs> Yo, why are you like this? <laughs> what is this you're dealing with and she thinks it's funny. My mom is trolling me right now. Uh, she it's it's part part good. She's having a good time. Now. She's having a good ass time. Uh, Meg, it's an app called uh, Zertu, and it's a it's a it's it's created by black guys in Dallas. And basically, if someone wants to borrow money from you, they have to go through the app, and then they have to put in their account number, and it will pay you back in however many increments that you guys accept or agree to the terms of. So that way they can be like, well, I ain't got, they got right? no money in their account. Then you don't loan them no money. You say, this is the only way I'm lending money <laughs> is if you can go through this app. That way you make sure you get yeah. your money back. So you and what is it, it called? What is it called again? I'm gonna look it up. Z-I-R-T-U-E. It's black owned, black created, made by some guys in, in Dallas. Yeah. That's dope, okay. Yeah, that way you automatically get your money back. You can say, hey, I need this back in a month. I need back two months. And it'll automatically calculate it for you how much money it's going to take out. Okay. Now. Kevin, what are you doing? Let's put it to a vote. a very ash. Mind your business, woman. What are you doing? You're not 
not like here. You're not present. I'm present. I'm trying not to talk to everybody. So I be doing other stuff. So I have people get to talk. No, that's not I what be, this means. It doesn't mean go do your bra shopping just because you don't want to be in. When Ty be quiet, you don't never ask her. When I be trying to be quiet and be a gracious she host. Be present. Someone, she be present. She be present. Be a she gracious don't host. Tell your secret. She be here with us. Okay. I be present. Kev, you do be. <laughs> How about this? You look huh? like Charlamagne. Yeah, huh? How about you look like Charlamagne when you had on us. <laughs> That's what you want. How about that? Come now back. Fine. Put it to a vote. That's fine. Come back so we can put it to the vote. When you turn your screen off, you mess up the thing for the banner at the Shut bottom. Up. Press press submit for your thong shopping and now vote. <laughs> All right, let's let's put it to a vote. What are we going with? One million secretly or two million publicly? Two milli, give me the two, I'm investing it. Now keep in mind, Kev, this is two million, no taxes coming out. It will be two million or one million, flat rate, that's it. No taxes coming out. Give me the two. Okay, everybody going with two? Yeah, I'll take, one. I'll take a million, because I'm the nigga that, that'll just get a million and still try to borrow a thousand from Kev. Cause I just want nobody to know. <laughs> you are real stingy like that too. Hey, wow. I, I don't care. It is what it is, but it looks like the two millions have it. We're gonna move on you to the know. last and final topic right after this. Yo, what up guys? It's your boy to hear more and listen, 2020 is finally over. So let's start this new year off right. I don't know what's on your to-do list, but if life insurance is on there, which it should be if you don't already have it, you need to check out the good people over at Policy Genius because they can help you cross it off with ease. Policy Genius makes it super easy for you to compare more than 30. That's right, 30 of the top insurance all at once. And you get to save over 50% in the process. Plus, there's no hassle, okay? There's no hassle whatsoever because their licensed experts work with you and work for you, not the insurance companies. And let me break it down on exactly how it works. All you have to do just starting off is head over to policygenius.com. And in minutes, you can work out how much coverage you need and compare quotes from the top insurance to find the best price. Because that's what it's really about. You want to get covered, or you want to make sure you're not breaking the bank while you do it. And that's what Policy Genius specializes in. Policy Genius will compare policies starting at as little as $1 a day, guys. $1 a day. You might even be eligible to skip the in-person medical exam. So you have no excuse not to have life insurance. Come on, man. Get with this. Once you apply, Policy Genius team will handle all the paper and the red tape. If you hit any speed bumps during the application process, they'll take care of everything. Listen, anything this simple is something that you definitely need to check out. The kind of service that has earned Policy Genius a five-star rating across over 1,600 reviews on Trustpilot and Google, you need to see what's going on, people. And you know you need life insurance. Everybody does, okay? And you, you ain't no getting around that. So you need to get on this train, this Policy Genius train, because we are taking off full speed. If, you, if you're around my age, all right, you know, you know how important life insurance really is. Go ahead and finally cross that off your list and get the protection for yourself and your loved ones. Go to policygenius.com and get started. You can save 50% or more by comparing quotes and you get to start the new year off with one less thing to worry about. Come on, man. We, we still in, we're still in the early part of the year. You just go ahead and knock this off. Policy Genius, when it comes to insurance, it's nice to get it right. Last and final topic of the day we have, would you rather be alone for six months versus live with four annoying roommates for a year? Six months. What, it, what does alone consist of? Like you never have contact with anybody? Um, yeah, let's, let's think like, um, Kevin, every time you turn your camera off, it messes up the banner at the bottom when we're filming. Banner busting. Stop doing that, Kev. I feel like he's practicing the body challenge. Body, yada, yada. Like, <laughs> okay, I got it. Turn it back on. Let me tell you something. What's wrong like, with you, Kev? If you what make is a wrong body with video you? After this, nigga, it's going to be a. I'm not available next week to hear book, <laughs> book someone else. I don't need to stress. Ty, get Cynthia Lucia. She's great. Keep Ty. Get Cynthia. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Kev. I don't need Come this. Come on, Kev. 
Um, live alone, meaning uh, like you work from home, uh, groceries get delivered, you don't have anybody to talk to, like you just moved to the middle of nowhere and you're just working for six months on this, this and you don't know anyone. And it's still cold. And, no, like, like, and it's like a, a top secret, like you're yeah. like high clearance. Yeah. Let's so you can't even talk that. to friends or family like that. Yeah, let's okay. go follow that. And you can't text or talk, call, call people? You have no phone, my nigga. No. You got rotary. So how do I, how do you work from home? You are, you are submitting files. Your from job secure. requires you to talk. Yeah, it's a secure line. You get though. like an email sent to emails out. Got it. It's a secure line. What if our job okay. is shooting stuff? Hey, just answer the goddamn question. Stop trying to post it. Not your real job. Work with you that know what it is, a... nigga. That all of these are hypothetical. You doing this shit on purpose, you changed, Pat. you changed my whole life. You said I work from home with a rotary and email. Like what? Am, what am I? <laughs> the, the email. The email is is it's, it's an Ethernet. It only connects to the server at your job. The rotary phone is for calling pizza, nigga. Now answer the question. <laughs> So I'm a completely different person. How long can you talk to the pizza person? You talk to the pizza person for a little bit. <laughs> hey, man, before I order the pizza, how are you? I just <laughs> I don't know anybody. You can't even do that. You just have, let's say there's no phone. You oh, your witness, your base, your witness protection program, basically. Yeah. Let's go with that. Witness protection. If you talk to anybody, then they finna find you and kill you. You are Walter White. You gotta live in that doggone cabin in the woods. And you kind of, you have no outside contact, and if you do, the cartel finna kill you. So I'm assuming that the annoying roommates have to be extremely annoying to match that. It's just living with one. Per it's just you and Meg. You don't even need four people. Just whatever. I am an amazing roommate. It's okay. Meg. It's Babbin Meg. It's, uh, it's Meg, but she she's a triplet. She's one of a triplet, and all three of them oh. live there. Cabin in the woods. And then the I am a great roommate. <laughs> I say that I've had roommates before, and they are, were so. Happy. I always pay my oh, they rent. Came up to the time. office, and they was like, "Oh, you work with her? Who? Good luck." <laughs> <laughs> I would stay at the Bates Motel, actually. What? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Taking hey, showers all the time. <laughs> I'm a great roommate. My bills are always paid on time. You never have to worry about who got what. Everything is kosher. There's food always in the kitchen. I don't believe this. No, I'm serious. You can ask my. I've had two two roommates in my life, and they both were like, never had to worry about nothing. Man, okay. you strike me as the type of person that has vision board parties once a week, and I just like you ain't gonna do it if you got to have that many vision board. Parties. Here, what is your? Why do you have beef with vision board parties? Why are you, you still can't say it right? Say it to the plan, board. coach. Niggas do all vision these vision board. boards and don't even stick it to the plan. Y'all just out here wasting <laughs> cardboard and supplies, nigga. Stop buying this. Wait, so cardboard. what should they do? Make goals like you every year and just not do them? You said what? You say put your goals down on paper. You said what, man? I didn't hear you. What you, you say? You the same exact thing. You just didn't put your goals down on paper. Every year you said you're going to lose weight and you still thick. I, I lost weight. I was doing so well until the world closed and my 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 trainer yeah, lost the gym. He literally lost the gym. I'm proud of you. I'm proud of you. You did. Yeah, good. I went and worked out with Tahir one time with that dude. I was like, um, no more for me. Thank you very much. <laughs> this Rainer. dude, he was like, we got 30 minutes. If you're still alive, you made it. And I was like, hold on. And that, got, that, was, that, that was on the day that I had already worked out twice prior to y'all getting there. I was doing Man. two a days, three a days. Nah, Man, this yeah. dude was tripping. And I Tahir was, was, was getting after it. I love, I love, when I get into it, I'm into he had it. Like a, um, he put this headband with the Snickers in front of Tahir, and he was like. <laughs> <laughs> Tahir ran 30 miles that day. <laughs> <laughs> Kevin didn't like it, though. I'll tell you, he didn't like it. Come I'm going to hold you. I thought it was going, because it was Tahir and Farron, <laughs> and one of your homegirls, I believe, was there. Mm-hmm. And I thought, you know, I thought oh, to hear probably doing like, I didn't think he was doing an easy workout, but I thought he was doing like a- Zumba, you was like, I'm not doing Zumba with you today. Kev Bruh. was like, this is going to be a breeze. <laughs> Bruh, this is going to be a breeze. That trainer had violence on his heart. I was like, bro, we can And the gym was hot. It was stupid hot in there. Oh. They had the big fans and stuff, no AC. I was like, nah, oh, man. Hot gym? Nah. It was working though, man. It, 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 
It got the job done. So I miss it. I would have went more if it wasn't. This was before the pandemic and when traffic was still like regular and, and getting to Hollywood, okay. it was just thinking it was yeah. getting to Hollywood was taking stupid long. Now keep in mind, Kevin wasn't driving. He had a driver that brought him actually to the <laughs> class. Because he's talking, yeah, like, you know, I want to just paint a realistic picture. He's talking like, oh, the traffic was like you were in the back seat on your phone while the driver. How big was the car? Was, it was a, it, you know, his this typical it a limo? Yukon suburban. No, it was a, it was a, it was a Yukon or a suburban. No sprinter. All you do is lie to here. Oh, I'm lying. I'm lying. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -mm. <laughs> Yeah. You know I'm not lying this time. You know I'm not lying. You are lying. I never Why wrote it in the car. mad about that? Can Kev, you how often do you like... use the Sprinter? The Mercedes, the Benz? Or... That was uh, that was a one-time uh, thing. That one night. Week. It was one time uh, that night. That was actually, I, I, the reason he had that is because Melissa was supposed to go to Big Bear the next day with her photography team. And he had rented it for that. So he just was picking, he, he would, picking us up because we'd be like six deep now at the comedy show. So that's why he had it that day. Cause I did not ask him to get that. He just pulled up with it. I was just as surprised as you. I was like, oh, what? <laughs> really? What? Listen, no, seriously. I didn't know. I knew he was picking us up. I didn't know he was picking us up in that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, child, we believe you. Here, you got two cars. What that mean? The, uh, the Wiener Snitchel Mobile and then what else? <laughs> <laughs> that's, the type of nigga, that's the type of nigga to pull up to your party on a pogo sip. You be like, how did you get here? <laughs> hey, those are pogo going in down the street. Fucking yo Noid You're from Domino's. Y'all remember Noid from Domino's? Noid? I ain't thought about the Noid in a long time. What's that? Wow. The Noid was that weird, like, look it up, nigga. It's you. It's you from Domino's. It was the Domino's character. He was all zany and gangly and stuff. Hey, um, pogo sticks aren't that expensive. <laughs> <laughs> I'm surprised you don't have one already. Like, you just look like you got one chilling right behind you. Well, don't be surprised any longer, ma'am, because <laughs> it's on its way to my house, the, the 11th, I will have one. Oh my gosh. <laughs> A pogo. Thank the you. Fact that technology works that quickly is super dangerous. Cause yeah. <laughs> right? if you had to go to like pogo sticks or us, you'd be like, ah, too much. Yeah, but the fact that. that you can go from thought to purchase, that's why Jeff Bezos is so rich right now. Yep. And he's got his own delivery trucks. He doesn't even need the USPS. <laughs> really? Do you do this is Pat. Hey! <laughs> Wait, there is a game. There Wait, it was a wow. man. I thought it was a rabbit or something. Oh, maybe man. it was absolutely a man, and it was a video yeah. game. I played the video game. It was on Nintendo. Wow, I don't like the man. Man is weird. I don't remember them. I don't remember video game. I definitely played the video game. I'm a. Wait, what was our topic? Uh, pogo sticks. Oh, or... six months alone. Oh, six. Six. Four roommates. Sorry, Pogo sticks are. I'm doing. Process. I'm doing six months alone. And you see what happened? Like this whole thing is what happens on Clubhouse. The conversation can be about this, and then now we're twenty topics away. One and mic, now one mic. Up in there for thirteen hours straight. I hate. I, I can't believe you'd be on there for like a whole twenty-four hour marathon. Your house. Is I haven't hit 24 you hours like yet. I, I only made it to 21 and a half. I can't get past enough. the 20. Yeah, if you don't like it? I like it when, I, I like it sometimes. <laughs> I prefer when I'm in someone else's room. When I start the room, you, there's no leaving. There's just no way to get out of there. Yeah, you can't you can. make other people moderators and you uh, no, leave well, silently. Technically, yeah, that, but I mean, like, it'd be hard to leave is what I is what Yeah. I mean. Nah, I totally get you, because I don't like doing that either. Like, even when I do that, like, people can tell when I'm about to go to sleep, because I'll slap the green bean on about five people, and then I'll just mute my mic. <laughs> <laughs> slap the green bean? <laughs> yeah, you I, I had this lit room. room. Yo, I'm going to tell you, the other day, I had this super lit room where it was, like, improv. 
Why are you who is improv with me? It was a girl in a wheelchair, and it was like, all right, you gonna improv? What did Finesse says she was gonna improv as the um somebody bouncer. Had to bounce her at the club, and she was kicking her out because she was running over people's feet at the club. <laughs> but you oh, won. At the, the, that was the so funny. Like because Boy. look, Lakeith Stanfield ended up coming in the room. And they were like, bring him up. And I was like, all right, but I know he probably don't know what's going on. And he was like, what's happening? Nigga, we are not moaning in here. We're just <laughs> doing improv. We're just playing. We're just, but a lot of people thought it was a real fight. Roy Wood and there was a couple other people. They were doing auditions for New Jack City, the musical, a couple nights ago. It was, was so mm -hmm. and it precious, was precious the musical. <laughs> yeah, yeah. He would, and he did set it Williams off. Started the precious the musical one. That's you real. Who did? Key Williams. Oh, that's so precious, funny. like the sad movie with the big girl. Yeah, yeah. yeah. As a musical? No, they were doing <laughs> fake auditions for a precious musical. Oh, on that's it. hilarious. Because <laughs> of the are dream people girl. Legit, everything. Pat, are you on here? Better. Pat what doesn't the? like it. You know, oh, you, you don't like Clubhouse? Okay. No. Did y'all see the video of the girl who, who said every speaker on Clubhouse? That's my favorite video right now. When she said, you know, I got my start in Mama Don't Drop That Dun Dun Dun, I was <laughs> crying. It was already funny before that. But when she got to that part, I laughed out loud. My favorite is the, <laughs> I know there's a lot of heavy hitters in here. So uh, me myself, <laughs> me myself, <laughs> me myself. You know, I, you know, I'm a uh, skydive instructor, <laughs> slash musician, sandwich artist. <laughs> All the people who work at Subway. Oh, like, it's, it's hilarious. I got a room on Wednesday where we're discussing uh, Thanos, Killmonger, and Magneto. See, mm. just nice. like the clubhouse uh, speaker. What is, is the what's the discussion? Who's that those guys really aren't villains and that everything that they did was out of love. Let's argue. Oh. Oh. That's a that I I feel like um Kilgore Kilgore. Killmonger's only thing is that he killed his girlfriend. Other than that, he just had a difference in opinion from T'Challa. Listen, Thanos this room is easily gonna be 17 hours. Feel free to stop by. Thanos, Thanos is really just like Peter on steroids. He really is just a, an environmentalist. <laughs> <laughs> it's greater than that. It's greater than that. When I when I have the discussion on Wednesday, you guys are gonna be like, <clears throat> mind. Oh, you alone. already put some thought into this. Are you got bullet yes, points? my rooms are not done just randomly. Uh, Clubhouse Oprah. We have a format. I have structure. <laughs> What are, we, what are we? What are we talking? He about? Did, you just did the exact same thing that the girl we were making fun of, the clubhouse speaker. <laughs> Everybody was making fun of clubhouse, and you're like, "Well, me, my room on Wednesday. <laughs> <laughs> my room. <laughs> me, Some heavy hitters in here. My, my, my personal room on Wednesday. <laughs> okay. Okay. Was, I'm doing a room tonight uh, after uh, Zoom with the homies. It's called 1 800 Get Your Ass Out of Here. And it's going to be the clubhouse customer service. So I'm going to bring people up and I'm going to train them on how to be customer service representatives. Wow. And then people are going to come up and they're going to state their, their problems that they're having with clubhouse. So we're going to do improv customers. So it's going to be fun. You should I'll have it so up. funny on there. I'll pull it up for that so one. Let's, let's go ahead real, and put it to a vote. They were doing real auditions. Okay, to here. Okay, I'm sorry. Yeah, we're going to put it to a vote so we get up out of here real quick. Um, so okay, the vote. Yeah, let's go with the vote. Would you rather be by yourself, live alone for six months, or live with four okay. annoying roommates for a year? Uh, I'm six gonna do six alone. months alone. Six months alone, because I need my pe home gotta be peaceful. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, Kev? Six months alone. Pat? Is the other one, the, the annoying one, also six months? No, oh, that's care. a year. Oh my God, yeah. I could disappear for six months. <laughs> and I'll do six months as well. Uh, well, it looks like the six months has it. I want to thank our amazing guest, Todd Davis, for pulling up to the show and having a great time with us. Shout out to the squad as always, and we'll uh, see you guys next week.
Peace. <laughs>